What Works. Brought to you by Detrol LA. Ask your doctor if Detrol LA is right for you. Finally, tonight on our series, What Works, a growing trend in transportation. It's a way to use cars to get around town that's proving to be both economical and environmentally friendly. Here's NBC's Peter Alexander. In Venice, California, Victoria Yaus needs to pick up her husband. P.J. Palmer has errands to run. Todd Raymond just wants to hit the gym. Three perfect strangers sharing one car. In the end, my monthly car bill is half of what it used to be. How does car sharing work? Companies like FlexCar park their fleet in assigned spots around a neighborhood. Drivers go online making reservations by the hour. PJ took us on a ride. It's just like a, a cell phone that you only pay for as you use. I mean, the cost? Between say? 3 and $10 an hour, depending on where you live. Do you pay for gas? No. Do you pay for insurance? Nope. And forget about repairs. The company covers that cost, too. PJ saved $6,000 last year. In the process, many of these drivers have become accidental environmentalists. I mean, I really do get to save a lot of money, and I get to feel like I'm saving the planet, and I think I am. Experts agree. Sharing cars means less congestion and less pollution. Each car shared keeps six to 10 privately owned cars off the road. One company boasts it's cut carbon emissions by eight and a half million pounds. Europeans have been sharing cars since the 1940s, an idea now catching on in the U.S. And there's over 135,000 people sharing vehicles, and I think that's an indication of its popularity. At least 25 major cities have car sharing programs. In Los Angeles, 900 people share 100 cars. In Madison, 530 split time in 11 cars. And in Philadelphia, more than 10,000 drivers share 149 cars. There are months I don't use the car. I don't pay. It's zero. I drivers save money with an added save? bonus. They help save the environment. Peter Alexander, NBC News, Venice, California. That's our broadcast for this third.